You guys go to the Waterford Dojo. Can you tell me how, yeah. how you came across the dojo and what, what do you learn there? Uh, we do scratch. And uh, I don't know how we came across it. Oh yeah, uh, Daddy. <laughs> he, um... Wait, what? <laughs> He, uh, I don't know what happened, he just heard about it on the radio or somewhere, and, uh, and he said, uh, we're going, he said it'll be a really good opportunity for a good future. Was he right? Yes. Yes. <laughs> and what do you learn, what, do you, what, do, what are you into, like, are you into games, or are you into building websites? Well, I used to play the game called Mashy Monsters. I don't do that very often now because um, I do scratch more. And you? What are you interested in? I'm interested... Usually we make little games. And would, so. you, would you like to make your own apps? Mm, yeah, no, maybe. I I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> um, and, and in terms of, in terms of how, many, how many kids will go to the, the Dakota Dojo in Waterford? Are many of them? I know. Yeah, a lot. HTML is packed with, you know, older kids. Uh, I did go, but then uh, HTML was a little too difficult. So I went back. Plus, I was afraid of older kids. <laughs> and, and are many kids your age there? Yeah, loads. Yeah. There's like 1,000 of them. <laughs> Con, uh, last time we met, uh, you, were, you were buried in a book, and I, I thought you were into your books, but it turns out now you're a bit of a coder as well, so tell me what you've been doing. Um, I've been doing uh, something with Bill, it's called uh, cron.org. Um, yeah, we basically are tree planting charity that aims to replant, reforest Ireland and other parts of the world, um, planting temperate rainforest, which uh, used to grow all over here, so... Cool. Very good. And, and you're at the start because you showed me you're building the website at the moment. So when when it goes live, like, how do you hope to engage with people to get them to build uh, or to plant trees? Um, actually, all I'm going to do is just it's acting a bit like Code Dojo. You know, the way it starts the dojo, um, just plant a tree. Basically, that is this. Um, you, all you need to do is just um, go out there and plant a tree. That that's the philosophy we work on. It's just and then we also let's say we encourage people to. Um, uh, organize big events where you plant trees, like let's say plant a tree day in wherever you are. And uh, we're get, then getting sponsorship and we have a supplier in West Cork and we're going to send on trees um, to, to, the, to help them as well. Very good. And you, you've just taken up coding, so did you go along to Coder Dojo with your brother? Um, I went on along to Coder Dojo a bit after my brother. Um, yeah, I just learned to code, yeah. Uh, Lindsay, um, my mentor there, taught me a lot of the code and he has some really good videos. Up, so I learned lots of my code from that, and yeah, I've been going to code dojo for a while now. Excellent. And I also made a, also a few of the guys and me worked on using our, we worked on our using an Arduino to program a robot, and we built a little robot, and we got it moving with a joystick there as well. Wow. <laughs> so Harry, um, you made history this year, uh, in the last year, uh, in terms of being the youngest uh, app developer, Mac app developer on the planet. Uh, you disrupted the games charts at the time. Um, how? How? Um, I mean, you basically learned the code through Coder Dojo in a space of a matter of months. Uh, yeah, I um, I started Coder Dojo in uh, in late August when uh, my um, when my mom's friend heard about it on Nationwide and told us about it and thought that it would be um, a cool for me to just go there for one day. So I so the next day Coder Dojo was on. I just headed over there and found that I really, really liked it, and uh, f I just started going every Saturday for the next few months. I'd say you've missed very few of them. Uh, yeah, yeah. I've uh, there's been a couple of days where I've been away, but uh, otherwise I've been in every day in Cork anyway. So. And in terms of the kind of languages and skills you've learned, because uh, to learn the code in the first place is, I would imagine, requires a lot of perseverance in the first place. Um, but there's so many different types of languages uh, from Python, HTML, um, Scratch, a lot of different starter languages, but also new ones coming on like Node and all these type of things that we hear about. But in terms of the kind of skills you've picked up in the last year alone? Um, well, the first uh, language I learned in Code, uh, in Code Dojo was HTML5, which is HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. I'm not exactly a pro at CSS, but uh, then I. Um, uh, I was looking online and I taught myself uh, a bit of C++ from uh, a few mentors there and learned Objective-C off some books and 
uh, various videos online. And uh, so I decided to, um, uh, you see Objective-C is the language that um, uh, iOS apps are coded in. So I decided that, uh, I see I had an iPod Touch and I'd got one of them like a few years ago. And uh, I, um, I'd always wanted to make apps for that since I got it. And so I uh, just decided that it would be a fun idea to uh, just make an app and see how it did. Very good. And in terms of uh, today, I mean, I understand you're one of the first spin-outs now. You're going into the National, Co uh, National Software Centre and uh, you're going to be working on your own, own company or your own startup. I mean, you're only 13. It's a great thing to do. Um, but in terms of uh, what it is and, and what you hope to do, and, and hopefully when you, when you do leave school, what are, your, what are your dreams all going to be in the software world? Uh, well, my company right now is more of a brand name than anything. It's just me working away in a corner. But uh, uh, in the NSC, I found that it's a very good place to work. Uh, and um, I just, Lindsay came up to me and asked if, uh, um, he said that they were doing a kind of uh, startup pioneering program there. And I, uh, he asked me if I would be interested in just being one of the first people there to help it uh, set off. So uh, I just uh, decided that I would because just a quiet place to work and everything. And I've got loads of help from him and a few other guys there. Brilliant. And, and, and so start you know, entrepreneurial entrepreneurial pursuits, that's what you want to be. You want to be, be, yeah. be your own boss, is it? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I'd, um, uh, in the future, I, uh, I'd like to have a software company or something like that, but uh, entrepreneurial pursuits, yeah. So, so Dharma Software, uh, you guys are both 17, is that right? Yeah. Yep, yeah. And you uh, would have been in Coder Dojo the last year or so, is that right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, and are you out of school this year? Uh, we're going into Leaving Cert. Going into Leaving Cert, okay. So this Dharma Software, you're in Leaving Cert, it's the first company going. Uh, what is Dharma Software? Uh, it's basically just a web design company, but the, we kind of decided to go ahead with it while we're young. I mean, because we've been trying to get so many jobs, but I don't know how long, but because of the recession, it was like, there's nothing going, so we like screw up and make one for ourselves. Might as well do something. Yeah, yeah. exactly. And, and you've already got a few deals already. We have, yeah. We have three clients lined up with deposits paid, and we have another two on the horizon. Very good. Yeah. And, and like you're, I mean, you're 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 at an interesting time, in when you know we're seeing uh, companies like Facebook in eight years get to scale their apps. Um, you've seen the lesson expanded by people like Steve Jobs. It's a very interesting time to be interested in technology and see what's possible. What are, what are your ambitions for the future? Uh, gonna, right now it's kind of just to make enough money to get into college and things like that to do it full time but hopefully to, to do this entire thing full time yeah good. and who are your heroes? Uh, Steve Jobs Steve Jobs definitely Steve Jobs <laughs> what do you make of Mark Zuckerberg? <laughs> he's smart but he's not Steve Jobs <laughs> <laughs> very good and like would it be the hardware side of things you'd be interested as well as the software eventually or do you think right now it's the best way in is to build websites and build software more software is, I think is more interesting than hardware but it's not hardware isn't boring it's just more keen to towards software very good yeah. um, it's pretty much the same thing yeah. <laughs> and in terms of like uh, starting up I mean we need more people starting businesses I mean how, how have you found the, the, the experience so far uh, it Obviously, it takes a lot of time and effort, but because of Coder Dojo, we've had a lot of help from like Bill Leo and James, and now we're set up inside the National Software Centre with the Coder Dojo pioneers. And it's just, I mean, we honestly wouldn't have been able to do this without Coder Dojo. So it's been interesting. Yeah. I mean, I mean, Coder Dojo, I mean, has only been going for the last year, uh, but you guys uh, are obviously at a level of proficiency where you can, you can build things. Yeah. Um, what would be the, the range of languages that you guys would be proficient in at the moment? Uh, HTML, CSS, JavaScript and a good bit of C. It's not a web language, but we still not. Very good.